Hi baddies so I am Rishabh and I am back with another video and today I have the feather shuttle the leaning duck feather champ shuttle and I got this from Amazon for a price of 1400 rupees first we will open this cover so the delivery by Amazon was really good it got delivered to me in just one day now talking about the pricing on the offline platforms you can get the shuttle from around 1200 to 1400 rupees that depends on your seller as you can see the MRP is 1590 in India okay and this is made in a China product so 90% of the shuttles are made in China product only so if you're not a fan of made in China products this is not for you but you have to be if you're a pro badminton player uh, if you want some Indian brand of shuttles, uh, I think Transform is one brand which has launched their products in India. That is an Indian brand, but uh, I don't think that their products are worth. I have not tried it, but many people in my court, they are having the Transform racket and the shuttles as well. But I don't think that they are worth any professional player, worth for any professional player. So, God knows. Okay, so this is our shuttle. We have finally removed the outer covering and we will pull it from this side. Also guys, this is a medium shuttle, medium speed shuttle. So medium speed basically means is the speed is 76. The speed will be medium, not too fast, not too very slow. And the speed of the shuttle also depends on the temperature. Like if you're playing in humid conditions, if you are in India and the in South India where humidity is more or also in North India in the summer season in the humid conditions your shuttle will travel at a higher speed and if you are um, in Ladakh or Srinagar in cold places where uh, the season is really cold then these shuttles will be very very slow like the fast shuttle the speed of 77 they will also be very very slow so I basically prefer slow and medium shuttles only um, because as I told you I am an Indian and we are getting humid conditions more here so that is why we play with the shuttles in um, winters uh, that is fine in winters the speed of the shuttle uh, that is a bit fast but speed of the shuttle fast and slow that depends on your play some people like fast shuttles some people like slow shuttles like in international badminton our Kidambi Shrikanti likes shuttles very slow but uh, when the conditions are fast like uh, you can say uh, when he plays in the European circuit and the conditions of the shuttle are very fast then he's not really comfortable and he's not able to win the uh, titles there but uh, might be I'm wrong might be he had won some titles in Europe as well but uh, uh, that depends on your game like what shuttle you like what speed of the shuttle you like so this is a shuttle we'll take it one by one and just don't rush the shuttle like this just keep pressing it like this slowly and firmly and your shuttles will come out just don't force your way to the shuttle it will destroy the shuttle so it's not good it's not recommended so people might be wondering uh, what type of shuttle is this so guys let me uh, tell you that this is firmly you can say a beginner shuttle this is not an intermediate shuttle yes intermediates can use it but uh, i won't say that it is meant for intermediate play this is just for beginners uh, reason being if you compare these sh the sizes of this shuttle with a yonix t3 or maybe a yonix aero club shuttle you can say that uh, these are a bit smaller in size than those shuttle so I don't know if that can be a factor or not so this is our shuttle of course the deck, duck feather shuttle this is not a goose feather so duck and goose feather I'll come up with a detailed video uh, of the differences there are very uh, small minute differences in a goose and a nylon and a duck feather shuttle but I will surely come up with a differentiation video so this is a shuttle as you can see guys and you will see champ logo on the shuttle 
and this is the shuttle so we will find 16 feathers of course on this shuttle the build quality is fine uh, when I'm holding the shuttle uh, it's not much weighty uh, it's not holding much weight so if your shuttle is holding a lot of weight then that means is that the control will not be very very good your smashes will not be very very good and the most important part is the durability of the shuttle will not be very very good reason being when the shuttle is very um, having some force like force means weight then when it will strike the ground the opposing force acting on the shuttle from the ground because it is heavy because it's holding a lot of gravity that is why not gravity because it's holding a lot of weight and when it will strike the floor which is already having a lot of mass then the shuttle will break easily so that is a very scientific reason i don't know if you can understand guys i'm really sorry but if uh, your shuttle is very very weighty then there are good chances that it will break very easily when it will hit the ground but if the shuttle is not holding much mass then it will last so comparing this shuttle this shuttle is very good it's not holding any mass so uh, this is great also guys uh, i've seen people commenting on online platform that they can play just one or two games with the shuttle that depends on the players like i'm a singles player and i play indoors uh, the shuttle is you can use it for outdoor play of course you can this is not much costly but uh, just don't complain about the durability on the outdoor courts because on the outdoor courts they are either mud coats or cemented coats and when they will hit the that surface uneven surface then the wings can break so you can't expect durability on outdoor coats but you can surely play with a shuttle if you're playing on outdoor coats that's not a problem of course so now what i need to do is i will play with the shuttle and then i will tell you that uh, how much it will last and before i test it let me tell you guys i'm a very offensive player I play with leaning number one string so you can understand that I'm an offensive player and my uh, the string LB which I use is 32 LB so then I will play with this shuttle and then we will see how the durability is how the shuttle looks so stay tuned for that part guys so back with the review part and I've tested this shuttle for around one weeks and I've emptied this box uh, I just have this one shuttle left and all rest of the shuttles they are just uh, wasted so this is the condition of the shuttle after one game and it could have been better if the opponent would not have strided the shuttle to the other corner of the court like it fell i played a drop shot and it fell and you know when the shuttle just skits on the surface it bounces a bit so then he just pushed it to the to my corner and that broke one or two feathers of the shuttle so that is not recommended in a feather shuttle guys make sure that you don't do this for the durability purpose and i can assure you that i can play one more game with the shuttle as of now but uh, if you're a pro just don't go for this this is not recommended that will degrade your game because the flight quality of the shuttle will not be very very good so that is not very very uh, you can say that is not recommended so i'm really amazed by the performance of the shuttle uh, so people might ask that who can go with the shuttle so if you are a beginner who was playing with a plastic shuttle and if he wants to he or she wants to play with a feather shuttle this is the perfect match for you intermediate can also play with this but uh, just don't complain about the durability if you are really hitting hard smashes and all then you can't expect this shuttle to be very very good but i find a shuttle better than this yonix aero club t3 shuttle this is the yonix t3 so in the starting of the video i said that the size of this leaning shuttle is uh, smaller than this aero club shuttle but that's not the case this is the um, standard size i don't know why i felt that but it is the standard size and this is a leaning shuttle so at the start when i opened the box i saw that uh, the fur of the shuttle uh, it's looking a bit clean and it's not looking a bit clean I, i'm not sure if you can see in the video or not but uh, i thought the finishing of this ionic shuttle was much better than this leaning shuttle 
सो आई जस्ट अज्यूम दैट दिस योनिक शटल इट्स मच बेटर दैन दिस लीनिंग डक फेदर शटल बट माई रिव्यूज एंड माई प्रोस्पेक्टिव है चेंज आई थॉट एरो क्लब टी थ्री इज द बेस्ट शटल एंड द मोस्ट ड्यूरेबल शटल वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द डक फेदर शटल बट इट्स नॉट द केस थैंक गॉड आई केम अक्रॉस दिस लीनिंग डक डक फेदर शटल सो आई वुड से दैट दिस चैम शटल इज मच बेटर दैन दिस योनिक्स एरो क्लब टी थ्री शटल एंड दिस इज नॉट अ पेड रिव्यू वाइज सो रेस्ट एश्योर्ड आई वोंट डू एनी इनजस्टिस टू यू आई फाइंड that this uh, cham shuttle is much better than that this shuttle uh, when talking about the durability and the flight quality is the same it's not uh, you can say it's not uh, making a much difference and the speed of this shuttle both the shuttles is this is 76 and i think it is a medium shuttle uh, no this is a fast shuttle this is 77 and this is medium 76 so flight quality of this shuttle uh, this shuttle uh, is just okay i won't say that it is the most perfect flight quality of this leaning duck feather shuttle but that is okay and remember i have told you in the starting phases of this video that uh, humidity and all that is a factor when you decide upon the speed of the shuttle so overall i am pretty much amazed with the performance of this leaning duck feather shuttle if you are a beginner go for it if you are a intermediate player go for it if you are not playing hard smashes you can go for it if you are a doubles player don't go for it because doubles is a very offensive game and the durability won't be a factor in doubles because you will hit hard smashes and it won't bear that wear and tear so singles player who are very defensive or who are using only very less uh, smashes they can go for it they, this will last for one or two games and if you have lot of money and if you are willing to purchase this shuttle you can go for this if you are doubles player but uh, better is you can invest in aero sena 10 uh, which will cost you 500 to 600 rupees more like 8 to 10 dollars more than the shuttle and the durability factor will be with you but that is not a beginner shuttle that is a very professional shuttle so you should know about the circumstances of each and every shuttle but it is one of the finest shuttle to start your game with if you are going with feather shuttles if you are a beginner if you are a intermediate player and you can also say that divisional uh, type of tournaments the division tournaments the zonal tournaments you can also play with the shuttle and if you want to increase the durability of the shuttle you can use humidifier and if you are one of those guys like me who comes from a very middle class family and who cannot afford those humidifiers those extra gadgets those extra goodies so what you can do is that is called an indian jugaad and what you can do is we have been through the covid phases and we all have this uh this inhaling i don't know i i am not sure about the name so what you can do is you can pour some water in this and you can heat it through electricity after that what you can do is just open the box of the shuttle not from this end from this end you can open the box of the shuttle and you can see the uh, you can see the vapors coming out of this uh, this nozzle you can see vapors and you can place the shuttle like this on the box keep it for 30 seconds and then you will realize you all you also have to open this thing and you will realize that the uh, that those vapors will be coming out from this end then what you need to do is you just close the box okay you just close it and keep it for 10 to 12 hours like this only so the shuttle will take the moisture and they will last for a longer period like if your shuttle is not moisturized it will look really brittle and if the, it uh, if it will be really brittle the furs will come out and the durability will not be very very good so this is a recommended thing for you if you are going with the this feather shuttle so if you have any questions about any shuttle or any badminton or any sports i would not say any sports guys you can say tennis cricket table tennis uh badminton of course is my favorite sports golf if you have any question about these sports you can drop me a dm on instagram 
or if you have any questions regarding to badminton you can drop a comments in the sections below about anything shuttle badminton the preferred string tension your string what you want to prefer or anything and i will guide you the best advice which i can give you i will try to give you the best advice so as of now bye bye guys and stay tuned for more videos if you do like my content please don't forget to subscribe and see you all very soon bye bye guys